Right then folks, we're up the hills now. We're going down into the quiet, no windy, um, old fox and park and wood. We're going to go down past the house. If I can, I'm going to try and get up close to the tree. Are you? Mm. Apparently it's a 900 year tree. 900 old year tree. Apparently. Oh, I, just, I just thought of that. We could see if we can... I think they even have someone guarding it a lot, to tell the truth. It's quite lush here where the gorse does, isn't it? Still getting a bit of sunshine, you see? I don't want... I was just talking about something there and I just think I didn't want to um, take my coat off yet because it might be, might be cool in there, no sun. I can hear the crows a minute ago. Like a crown, isn't it there? There is a straightforward path going down, but I'm not going to do it. I came up it a couple of weeks ago. I explored coming up it. So, but I'm not going down that way. I'm going to. I'm actually going to walk past the house today. I don't want to do any rocky paths. I got to do a bit of a rocky path. For a little while but it's mainly leaves and grass but we're coming off these rocky stony areas now and I've been walking since sort of about 10 o'clock I suppose so yeah we've done about four and three quarter hours have you yeah that's the way you go there's two ways you can go go up to the memorial trees that way you can go down through there, which I came up the other week. I've done this loads of times, this bit, but I want to do it again today. But it is a bumpy bit to start with. But I'll keep off, I'll keep off the bumps. And here we are, this is um, Old Foxton Park and Wood. Still looking parched. The trees, hello. Hello, big old tree. How you doing? Let me just give you a little soft touch as I go by. Hi. This is where I quite often I see deer. Oh, somebody coming with a dog. Sorry, he's not coming this way. I'm going to stay up off the bumpy stones for a little while and walk up here. Oh, look at that. And get stand back a bit. You'll get a really good picture of that tree there. That big old tree, guardian of the entrance to the, the wood and the park. Guardian. I can see leaves falling like rain up there. It's quite pretty. Lots of very dry branches, isn't there? Someone's made a little circle there, look, with a fire.
here quite often this is where I have seen um, deer so what I was going to say before I saw that chap was that I'm going to I'll try and be remain a bit quiet while I'm walking along rather than yapping right I just had to change the battery folks put a brand new battery in some nice light here for photos of the trees didn't always come out how I see it though unfortunately but no there are some big old trees here I might try and see if I can approach the 900 year tree I know I've seen it before I didn't realise it was that old I've probably got some early images of it long before the, the Buddhist monks came but this one, why this one is do, what's happening with this tree here is it's dehydrated the land here is bone dry and it, the branches are just falling off there's no fluids to hold them up like steel in their veins so it's, it's dodgy, it could fall any time and big branches like that coming down, look at the size of them but that is a king of the, just one of the kings of the the woods, that tree there. I've seen it before that happened, I've seen it, I've got pictures of it. <sighs> yeah, I can see the leaves, it's autumn, you can see the leaves falling off the trees, look. Don't ever get any. Um, If you look through there, you might be able to see some leaves falling. Petals falling off the trees. It did a lot a minute ago when it was, there was a gust of wind and quite a few leaves fell. But it's not doing it because I'm trying to catch it. It's not doing it now. <laughs> you wait, I'll come away and it'll do it. over here and let's see what this lump is that a funny old log isn't it it's a, looks like a giant turd what is it oh yeah it's a ginger log it's an old tree there that one look It's once again lots of branches they do really look very parched the trees don't they bits of torso of tree everywhere Here's another one of our guardians of the wood, this big tree here, and look at his lovely root system. But he's once again lost a few limbs because the, the ground is bone dry here. It's bone dry. Something's got through the fence here. This, this has fallen, maybe this has fallen 
I'm not sure when, no, not that, not that recent, but the fence is down and you can see prints where perhaps the deer have been jumping over the fence here. Look at that lovely tree though. He's struggling. It's so dry. Even though people said it's been wet, it's not really, it's not enough. Look at it. Throughout this little wood there's lots of tree trunks and limbs of plants of trees that just lobbed off, fallen off with a bone dry. There's one there. You know, I'm plodding along. I'm pottering. <laughs> a few years ago, this would have driven me insane walking like this, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm pottering, really. I don't mind in a way, but I used to be so much quicker. <laughs> That's a way into the wood. I must. I did that with Georgia once a long time ago. I haven't done it since. So it just takes you through somewhere. I don't feel like doing it on the day. It's another path. You can see how a path takes you up that way. It just makes you wonder where they go, doesn't it? Where that leads. There's lots of pathways I haven't done, you see. Probably could lead to someone's farm. It could be a path that takes you to Kilf or somewhere like that. Hmm. Yeah, I chose to walk through. I do like to come down here. I've been exploring this wood mainly alone for years now. Since I retired, all this started happening. I started exploring my Quantox in a lot more depth. Uh, I more time to. I can see. I'm seeing so much more, and I'm making the most of it while I can. Tell the truth, because I know the time's going to come. When? It ain't gonna happen. Look at that little one, that was a little stubby tr he's still he's still alive. I think I've been a picture of him before. Right, go back. Go back, Joe. Yeah, he's still alive. Look at him. He's got, a, he's got a perm. Sometimes you hear, you think you can hear footsteps. Walk, somebody walking by you. Hark. Keep still for a minute. The rutting season will be starting. Oh, I can hear the the old house being having stuff done to it. I've got so much footage of that place. <sighs> if there's a lot of people, I won't be able to see the big tree. I don't think. Second me, he's just getting down here. Well, his ankle breaking territory. That's another reason I'm taking my time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm taking my time. Oh, off we go. 
Another big tree, look, guardian of the wood. He's lost his, his top of him a long time ago, but he's managing to send out some big shoots and he's got a whole load of roots that go all the way along. There's a whole network of their roots here. And he probably gets a good drink when it rains and the water comes down and fills up that little area there. Whereas this side, they haven't got that, see? He's got a good system of roots and he's still going well. Yeah. We can hear a lot of banging going down at the old fox and house. That big group of people. Well, they might have been going up to Dalesborough Hill Fort Sheila and round that way. Yeah. Might be. Don't see any deer yet. Still got a way to go yet, Jill. Yeah, it's all right. Don't mind. I'm gonna turn off again.